Okay, I have a roll of nine foot seamless paper that I need to trim down a little bit to fit in where I want it, just so it doesn't block off the areas. Uh, I've cut it in the past with a hacksaw, but that's a little slow and tiring. So, trying it out for the first time on a uh, chop saw. See how it works. Uh, I did try with a with a regular circular saw, but it doesn't go deep far enough and to be honest I'm not sure that this chop saw is big enough it's a smaller blade than most of the other chop saws I have I have the roll set up the other side is sitting on a you know a saw horse just to keep it level with the deck of the chop saw and I have it clamped down I marked it here where I'm going to cut it uh, and I put some tape around it to keep the cut clean but I'm first going to make a test cut uh, in the cutoff area just to see how it goes. Yeah, it's not getting all the way through, but it's doing enough. I'll fish it up with the either with a chop saw or I could just spin it around a little bit. To finish off the cut. If I had a bigger miter saw, this would have been easier. And I would have been able to cut it the whole way through. Actually, it looks like it might just be getting caught up on that clamp. So let me... Yeah, now it's the uh, <clears throat> the paper's too thick for this saw, but it does produce a really nice clean cut through the paper. Now you don't have to be exact with this because there you do have. a few inches of leeway with the background roller system so if you get it close it'll work Just lined it up after rolling the paper a bit so I can finish off the cut. Yeah, I've tried cutting paper with a, a hacksaw. Not a hacksaw, a reciprocating saw, but that doesn't really give a really nice clean cut, so this is much better. Remember, uh, paper is made of wood, so it does generate a bit of sawdust. I, you know, it does generate a bit of dust. And you can see the cut is nice and clean. Then I Remove the paper, the masking tape. There you go. Nice clean square cut.
little bit of fraying, but <clears throat> it's not that bad. You can always, it's going to be on the end anyway. And just to show you, there's uh, a cordless saw, so it doesn't quite reach all the way to the bottom. So you could do it with a couple passes, but when I tried that, it I couldn't really get a straight cut, so I decided to use the miter box. <clears throat> 